I see the owner of this bakery, a long-standing member of the Toronto Ukrainian Committee and a former MP, is convinced that this was an act of intimidation. He and others in this community are calling for a federal task force to investigate whether this was stoked by the Russian Federation. As customers arrived at the popular Future Bakery on Tuesday, this is what they saw. The giant and colourful mural, which has adorned the side of the building since 1996, vandalized with anti-Ukrainian graffiti. Also defaced, a sign which says, stand with Ukraine. It shows it, right? Shows what? Uh, the uh, anger, yeah, the uh, anti-Ukrainian uh, position and uh, it speaks loudly. I think it's politics. And for sure, to damage business is not good for any business owner. The bakery's owner, Boris Ryshnowski, a former member of parliament, said he put up the sign to support the country his grandparents left as refugees, now the potential target of a Russian invasion. Our family knows the consequences of war. It's time to stand with Ukraine and stop Putin now. Ryshnowski says he was shocked when he learned what had happened at 5.45 a.m. when the first bakery delivery truck driver arrived. This isn't just graffiti, nor is it just an act of vandalism. This is an attempt to intimidate. It's a hate crime. Toronto police are now investigating the vandalism as a mischief. Some are concerned this vandalism was stoked by the Russian government. We are calling on the establishment of a task force within the government of Canada to investigate and deal with this. Others say the timing is no coincidence. On Sunday, there was a rally in support of Ukraine. We stood in solidarity with a, a movement across Canada and the world uh, defending Ukraine against Russian aggression. And the very next day, this happens. Ryshnowski is now looking into removing the graffiti, but has been told the mural may have suffered irreparable damage. And I'm told that the police officer who took the report into this case, which has been investigated as a mischief over $5,000, will now liaise with a member of the hate crime unit on behalf of the complainant. But this has yet to be classified as a hate crime. Back to you. Thank you, Kate.